I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. During a Wednesday briefing, Senator Chuck Grassley addressed the pro-choice demonstrators outside of the homes of Supreme Court justices. The protesters are upset by a leaked draft decision memo that indicates the high court could overturn Roe v. Wade. Grassley accused President Biden of, quote, being quiet about those protests. Here are the Iowa Senator's wide-ranging remarks. Yeah. I think it's pretty simple. When you don't control the borders, and fentanyl is just one fentanyl is just one drug that comes across that border. Uh, comes from China to Mexico into the United States, but other drugs come from other countries across the Rio Grande. And uh, when, when that happens, uh, it's one thing for people to come to our country violating our laws, but to bring drugs in, it makes every uh, problem for not just the border states, but for all of the states of the United States and the statistics on Crime. Her, her question was about the connection between violent crime and the intimidation at the Supreme Court. You sure didn't make that very clear. <laughs> you, you, you know, remind, point, um, re, remind me of a question I got in Medicaid <laughs> in a town meeting, and I answered it for five minutes, <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the woman told me that, uh, that I'm talking about Medicare, not Medicaid. So any of you can stop me if I'm answering the wrong question. Well, I think when you have the President of the United States being quiet on the demonstrations that are going on, which are nothing more than to intimidate the Supreme Court for political reasons, when the Supreme Court needs to be independent and uh, and, uh, and make decisions based on the Constitution and the laws. And, uh, and at the top of our country, uh, you don't have a president speaking up against that and supporting the courts. I think there's just one example, but that's a big example of what has caused morale within the police department to go down and uh, the defunding argument that goes with it and making it very difficult to fill vacancies in Supreme Courts and things of that nature. That's the connection that I put to that. Following up on that, um, there's going to be a huge manifestation on Saturday here in Washington and in other cities in the country. Do you think there could be uh, security concerns that maybe violence could come from these uh, manifestations? Well, that's a, that's a question on speculation. I, even, even if I was in law enforcement, you might not know that for sure, but they'd know more about that than I do. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. The White House has called your investigation into Mayor Garcetti a partisan hit job today. Um, do you have any response to that? And I'd like to ask why um, you know, your Democratic colleagues should trust your report as face value as public interest. Is this on the Los Angeles? Yes. Well, I think, first of all, my reputation for doing oversight work, if nothing more, you found out how wrong the Democrats were on that and the, and the Main Street media on that when for two and a half years they said our investigation of uh, Hunter Biden was uh, Russian disinformation, and then they ended up being the peddling of misinformation. Uh, Russian disinformation, and finally the New York Times and, uh, and uh, the Washington Post acknowledging that. So you get to the work of my committee and the respect it has, and uh, I'm not saying uh, drawing any more conclusions that just except for this one senator. There's 99 other senators can read the report and draw whatever they want from it, and I'm not dictating to it, and I'm not holding it up anymore. It can go ahead on its own merits. Do you have a response to the White House claiming it's a partisan hit job? Well, I don't have that reputation for doing partisan hit jobs. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.